Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be carrying on with Vampire. So where we left off, we've just finished talking to Lady Ash Ashbury and we're going to talk to Harriet Jones. Alright, so let's get into it. Okay, so talk to Harriet in the hospital. We also still need to do the side quest find the lost wallet in the garden. I'll, we'll do that a bit later. Right now we need to go speak to Harriet. Oh, I can already tell she's going to be a complete asshole. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Please, calm down. Let's be a bit nice to him. I assure room. you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> How brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. Threatening? You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. Oh, you know what right, goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts is a poor sod's vein. Tom? If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. I won't give you a fucking blanket. Bloody hell. You seem to know more about the goings on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches' greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. <laughs> I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. Find Nurse Pippa the patient Hawkins. And staff find find Miss Dorothy Crane. I'll find my investigation with them. Gwyneth Brangan. Okay, so... Let's speak to who's out here first. Where the... Wait. What's a nurse doing all the way down here? Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm Blight, sir. Newton Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... But we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, ca I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. 
Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. It's not the main mission at the moment, I have so. all the information I need for now. Thank you, Doc. I'll come back to Mr. Blight. I'll just, we need to speak to the nurses at the moment, I think. Wait, find Dorothy in the area. Where is she, actually? Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Oh, so that's one of them we found the so far. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Hmm. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but... How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. The epidemic. An invisible enemy. Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them. Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. <laughs> nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. New hint available. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Okay, so we've spoken to Gwen, whatever her name is, so find Nurse Pippa Hawkins and find Dorothy Crane. Daily routine. Oh, what? Well. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, Doctor. Don't know what happened there. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. To be fair, though, she does deserve help, even if she has been a, even if she is a bitch. No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. 
<laughs> she could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Damn. Who cares if the nurse finds some happiness where she can? How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. <laughs> Get a grip, down. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? I'm not going to tell a get a group. <laughs> I'm not being a dick. But... How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual, especially concerning doctors. Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. New hint, new hint for Milton Hawks. Why does Milton dislike doctors? I don't know. Just Fear. ask him. But be warned, Milton is not the chatty type. Okay. How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. I don't like your attitude, Nurse Hawkins. Pessimism can be as lethal as the epidemic in times like these. <sighs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. What have you got against Nurse Brannigan? How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. Always got to keep morale around the monster. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We're really... running out of oh. everything. Bit personal of everything else. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay I'm attention to, to her, this. Doctor. Oops. She's full of fanciful tales. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Okay, so we only need to find Miss Crane. Ooh, saw something there. There we go. But it says that she's down here, but I don't understand why she would be, though. Find Dorothy Cr- ah, oh, there she is. Hey, up. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. There's no way well to then, talk. When you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. What is she actually up to? Retrieve the fog in the sewer. Why was he actually going into the sewer though? That's what I'm concerned about. Because no one would just casually go into the sewer unless they were up to something. You must rest in the bed to spend XP and evolve. Look out for hi look, look for hideouts. Okay, so we've got the Pembroke Hospital one, and we've also got that one on that street. Is it near the bar? Pretty sure it's near the bar. 
all the docks, one of the two. I haven't been anywhere else yet, except them three places. Popular sewers was that. Okay. Oh shit. He's locked the door behind him. Bastard. I need to find another way to follow him. Shit. Bloody hell's happening there. Opium. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. <laughs> right, and he gets some blood at the moment. So if I hit this guy, I should be alright for now. There we go. I'm a bit underpowered for this at the moment now. I should, I should have really gone to a hideout or something for now. Oh, fucking hell. There's two of them. Oh, shit. Okay, definitely need to heal up now. Right. Oh, bloody hell, <laughs> there's another one. Okay, I'm definitely not doing good so far. Blood at the moment. Good job, I did that. I was about a pounce. I do really like the combat though. Very fluid. Still need to upgrade my stamina though. I meant, I meant to say that in the last episode of this actually. Oh, got some ammo though. See, so reload that. There we go. Anything else up here? Oh, I was meant to go a bit deeper in. Citizen to save. Save the panicking man by defeating the scales. Oh, I should have drained him, shouldn't I? Okay, definitely need to heal. Oh, he can't. There we go. Damn, why is he crying? Excuse me, mate. Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please. Take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I, I, I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. Mr. Thatcher, your friend Newton sent me to help ah, you. Ah, so this is the side remember? quest which I've been yes. having to do. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place <laughs> and enjoy So I've cool stumbled on it without actually realising. It's quite realizing. invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Well, this got some blood points by it. There we go. You rescued a citizen. He will return to his district the following night. There we go. Oh. So I've completed an investigation, so that's good. I've got quite a decent amount of XP for that as well. So I need to do some side quests every now and then if I want to keep up. Like with the game, so I don't... Oh shit. Okay. Let's get some blood up. Can do this. There we go. I don't want to get hit at the moment. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. There we go. Okay. A band of dragon. Get some 
blowed while I can. Oh, bloody hell. Not a boss battle again. What sort of creature is this? <laughs> it looks like a lion. Damn, what the fuck is it? Okay, so that does not do much damage. So if I hit him with that, a decent hit on him. So, I need to try and watch my blood though, to be fair, for this. Him and try and dodge his main attacks. Okay. So I've got some health syringes if anything does go wrong or I need to run out of blood. I'm a bit underpowered for this so far, because all the scouts which I've gone against are actually quite a slightly higher in this level than me, so... Same with this guy, he's level 9, but... Oh shit. Okay, so he's resisting. Right, I need to heal off a bit right now. Okay, so I don't think that helps at the moment. Oh, fuck. Right. right, I need to switch something out while I'm here. I'm about to get hit either way, but... I'm going to switch this at the moment for the stake. Just switch them around slightly, because... Right now I'm running out of bullets, and I want to try and at least stun him and get a bit of blood if I can. So... Right. Oh, fuck it out. There we go. So I've got a decent amount, so if I do that and get my health up a bit, I should be alright if I can do another one. Come on then. Just trying to avoid this. Is that supposed to be a werewolf or something? I know it's called a sewer beast, but... Alright, oh shit. Okay, definitely I'll get my health up. Okay, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm definitely in trouble. Oh, what are you? Oh, what are you? I'm out of stamina, I'm nearly out of health. This is bad. If I use that, sure. Okay. I'm starting to panic there a bit, but I'm alright though. Right. Oh, bloody hell. I think he does some serious damage if I get hit by that. What's left there? Not a lot to check, but I should anyway. Not a lot to check, mate. There's li <laughs> it's literally still intact. If you're sick, if you are sick, if you have no money, whoever you are, wherever you're from, come and seek Dorothy to get help. No question, no tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name, and present this coupon. Oh, so that's Some what she's been up to. Free check up in White Chapel. Ah, so what she hasn't been dodgy. Not. She's just been trying to be. I really helpful. must find her. What he's up to? She'd literally said that she'll help people. Or know where someone can help, either. Get some blood up. Right, before we go to Whitechapel, actually, I need to get. I need to sort out 
my XP actually get some stuff. I'm not going to survive another fight like that. What I like about this game though, it doesn't prepare you for a boss fight or anything like that. Because that caught me off guard. I thought it was just going to be scales down there, but... The, I'm, I know I keep saying this, but the combat, I just love it. I don't know why. It's like a very hack and slash style. So we need to go to Whitechapel, where, where Nurse Crane is probably going to be, since she was on that boat. But if that guy got a coupon, why was he going into the sewer? That's what I'm confused about, though. So I think there's also something going d down in the sewers. That's my opinion. So I'm still on the chapter blackmail in Whitechapel, but... Oh, hello. Okay, so that's another scal... Okay, so I'm pretty far from the hospital. But it is en route, so I should be alright. Should I really sh I really should sh shut that gate, really, if the scowls are out there. So I do really need to work, like work on my stamina, well I need to s spend XP on stamina. See if I can get more blood and health probably I'd say is best. I don't really need weapons at the moment, or actually I could upgrade my slash because I use that quite a bit. I like that though because it gets you to try and think what you really need. Because I still feel quite weak, well I am weak but body condition increase health. Blood capacity. Is that level 1 at the moment? Yeah. So if I sort that out to get it up a bit and endure it, increase stamina. Yeah, bring that up to level, t well, slightly better level 1. Increase your blood absorption when using bite in combat. Yeah, I'll use that because I haven't got that sword at the moment. Science, I'm not sure, so I'll probably leave them for a bit. Bullets, I don't, I'm not going to really use them at the moment, but increase the damage inflicted when biting in combat. Yes, I feel like that'll be decent. Increase your life regeneration when using the bat. Yes, because I, I want to get that sorted. Okay. You drain your own blood to heal. That's alright at the moment, but I want to increase my health as well. Increase health, and if I can, probably bring stamina up a bit. And if I can, this. Oh, 2000! Oh. Um, what about this? 1300. Tactical, anything like that. You perform a supernatural move on your target and causes damage upon landing. Recovery. So it doesn't use any blood, so that should be alright. Oh, defensive. Didn't have a look at that. Blood barrier and your blocky targets in their veins make. Okay. So if I just get that. Sword. Oh, okay. So the health status has gone down a little bit. But 
should be alright. Okay, so I've got them upgraded. Let's see if there's anything to do with my weapons, because I did see something about that. My hatchet, I do like it though. Well, let's get that to level. Okay. Recycle. Okay. Can't do anything now. No, I still need a common handle part. I need six of them, but I only have. I don't have any, but I have four of them. I've got anything like this. Add three stun points when you hear weapon. Decrease stamina consumption. Yes. I'm not going to be really be using that at the moment, so. Okay. So I think that we're right for now. Here we go. Ooh, that texture on that door is not very what nice. What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, <laughs> sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Cray. There is no Dorothy Cray in here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. Okay, bronchitis. Can not get through the door? Them textures are awful. The strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just a friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidacott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. Okay. I cannot. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. Oh, hello. Excuse me, sir. Are you familiar with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby. Reported. Oh, there we go. Sorry. There's one of them. I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, a famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. Oh, thank you. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? <laughs> I'm a doctor, Mr. Darby. I care about everything involving public health and this epidemic. Are you sure you're not just concerned about the repercussions that a scandal involving a certain nurse crane from the Pembroke Hospital would bring? Without a doubt, you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Darby. What do you know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. <laughs> He never goes out? No. A few days ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Hmm. Okay. 
Goodbye, Mr. Find Richard. You must find the mailbox and the letter. So the both should be around here. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell, there's three of them. Okay, need to get a good view on each and every one because of that. So, what well, are they all level. Okay, it's two level 10s and one level 12, I believe. I should be alright if I try not to get jump wire to them. So, there's one of them. Oh, okay. I don't understand how no one else hears these creatures. Because he's shrieking, it's so loud. Right, what was that? Cigarette case and bullets. Okay, so if I keep getting bullets, and the gun must be rel quite useful. Well, it's good from a distance, but. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions. Please be my guest. Although I may not be the best informant regarding this part of town, my words speak about that which the eyes Definitely a poet. See. Really? <laughs> Are you an artist of some kind? I'm a poet, sir. Richard Nivercott, <laughs> at your service. May I ask you a few questions about the district? Extraordinary part of town, is it not? I'll be glad to help you, if I can. What can you tell me about an old man called Darius? Darius Petrescu? Yes, I know him. At first, I thought he was only a small publisher. I invited him to publish my work, but his reaction was pretty clear. Not interested in your talent? Darius is an old political activist who takes delight in printing tracts and lampoons. Those communist activities only require mediocre writing skills. May I ask you a few questions? Extraordinary part of town. I've already seen this part. May Actually, I ask you a extraordinary. Let's learn a little I'm looking bit more for about Dorothy Crane, a nurse who lives in this vicinity. Dorothy Crane. Oh, I love the name. The Crane of Whitechapel. It sounds very mysterious. But sorry, no, never heard of her. You're fucking useless. <laughs> I'll leave. Okay. So I just need to find that letter for now. Oh, there we go. See it. My dearest, most beloved children. I'm so sorry that you have not heard from me for a few months. The situation in London has been difficult. I know it may sound selfish and silly when you, my children, are still living in a country as you consumed by war. But there is also a war going on here in England. A war against poverty, against injustice. This is a war I intend to fight despite my advanced, advanced years. This is why I am writing to you today. I won't, I won't be coming back to Romania. This probably means I won't see you again before I die. Don't be sad my darlings. You are grown up now and you have children of your own. You know the sacrifices we sometimes must accept to make the world a better place. This is one I make now. I feel useful one more t I feel useful one more time. I wish you a long and happy life. Kiss my grandchildren for me and remember that you, your father loves you all the way from this cold, damp country. I'm as ever I am as ever your loving father, Darius Petriscu. The content of Darius letter to his oh, children that's actually sweet give me more leverage to enter. Leverage? Come on, mate. Don't Darius mess with that. Don't mess with family. Oh, I feel they're guilty now. I can't. Oh, that's actually a dead sweet letter, to be fair. It's 
pretty sad. Excuse me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson to some, but Colossus Joe to most. Colossus Joe? I don't Joe. remember asking for your service, <laughs> sir. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help a sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her a hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. Goodbye. Find a way into Davros. I can't pronounce our last name, so I'm not even going to try. Find a way into Darius, Darius's house. So we got some leverage on him, but I really don't want to use that about his family. Petrescu, just one minute, please. You again? Go away. Okay, let's have a minute Sir, to man, -to man talk. Stop this nonsense. I know Nurse Crane is here. Shall we speak man to man, you and I? <laughs> All right. Speak up. Don't you see we're on the same side? We fight to help the poor, sick, and abandoned. I'm nothing like you, Mr. Doctor. Yes, you are. You too believe in providing medical care without charge. You know what we have to sacrifice to make the world a better place. I have to admit your words have conviction. All right, I'll let you see Dorothea. Don't <laughs> push it. I'll let you see diarrhea. Okay, so we've gained entry. Then I can get some. Oh, hello. I'll take that. Shit. Bloody hell. Okay, this place does not look sanitary. Razvan Vasily, high fever running on three days. Complaints of dizziness, muscle aches, and head pain, diagnosed with influenza. Treatment? Aspirin and salicin for the fever and discomfort. Liquids for dehydration, but he's having trouble keeping even water down. Aspirin and salicin, you say? Why not some warm milk and a kiss on the cheek? Where are the quinine salts? Tried buying, borrowing, even stealing. There's none to be found, Doctor. He's not convulsing, he's choking. He's not getting any air. Skull, hand me that skull. What can I do, Doctor? I need to perform a tracheostomy. Short pipe. That rubber tube will do. Oh, so they can breathe. Because so when the airways are blocked, the they cut a hole yes, through doctor. the neck and cause his air wound, so they're able to actually breathe. He's breathing again, but he's coughing up blood. Internal hemorrhaging. I need to make another incision into the chest cavity to drain the fluids from the lung. Prepare another tube. A colostomy. Doctor, we've nothing to fight the infection. We need an aseptic environment. We... Oh, bloody hell. Don't question me, nurse. I need a drain. Now. Yes, doctor. Make this place doesn't look sanitary as it is. He's still bleeding, Doctor. I'm losing his pulse. The drain must have punctured the intercostal artery. There's too much blood. Oh, shit. Are you all right, Doctor? I... I can't see. Must... Right. We gotta finish this. Find the wound. 
I'm not letting him die. The source of the blood. Needle and thread, Doctor. Come on. Good. The stitches are holding. How's he doing? We're losing him. Come on. No. We've no. Pulse. He's dying, Doctor. Shit. Cardiac massage. Now. Cardiac. What? Are you making this up as you go along? Oh, fuck it up, Avana. Shit. Oh, on. Oh, bloody hell. We've lost the pulse. Oh, shit. He He's gone, Doctor. Nurse, we did everything we could. Truly? Everything you could. Is that how you'll report this in your log? Is this how the war went, piling up one poor corpse beside the next? This was not an influenza-induced seizure. I've never seen symptoms like these on the continent. Neither have I. But the previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something primitive. So there's another epidemic. There have been epidemic. numerous reports of mental breakdowns caused by the fever that accompanies the flu itself, Doctor. Yes, but... So there's something else with the same symptoms. I'd best take some samples of the blood Ooh, for Ooh, he's getting juicy, this is. I like this. Oh, a bit gutted, though. Oh. I can't believe I fucked that up. I doubt you're here to test my bedside manners. Let's confront her. I suspect it was more than intuition alone that led you to us. So, how might I be of service, Dr. Reed? I've come to put an end to this insufferable blackmailing, Dorothy. Doctor, you think your warnings scare me? I've stolen and plied, blackmailed and lied, but what else am I to do? I'm all these people hey, that have. Rhymed. Okay. But why Lady Ashbury? Why her, of all people? She's pristine and proper, all right. But that she-wolf in sheep's clothing murders the poor for sport. I have her where she belongs, and I'll milk her for all she's got. She doesn't kill for spores. Dr. Swansea is a sensible and honest man. He wouldn't have refused your friend's care at Pembroke. It's easy for you to say, Doctor. These people cannot go to the police, nor to the hospital. They don't even speak English. They depend on me for everything. So, the end justifies the means. Is that your defense? I know you're kind, Doctor. Just another fine-heeled, silver-spooned gentleman who was given the world on a platter. You know nothing of poverty. Nothing of the shame, the hunger, the loneliness. You've convinced me of the sincerity of your actions and their noble justifications. But all the same, Blackmail is a crime, and it will stop Nurse Crane. So... Okay, so it did lag, and it, the game based application got corrupted, so I've had to get load back in. Okay, so we're loading back in. Should hopefully be Hopefully it's saved where we actually were. Oh, please save. <laughs> so we've spoken to Dorothy, she's basically been slaughtered. On and it was my fault. Oh. It plays with your emotions, this game does. But it does also test your moral compass and see how <laughs> Your moral compass gets so fucked up playing this game. I didn't even I didn't even feel that bad that she died. I felt more bad that I didn't get the XP for it, because she was going to die either way. 
Don't that just makes me sound like a massive asshole. Alright, so we're back in. Hopefully when we get to that boss fight, I'm actually prepared for it. Whoever left these marks did Okay, so, so at least I'm prepared for this part. Kill it, boy! Right. He's gonna fire, isn't he? There we go. Let's get some blood while we're here. Right, I need, I'm gonna try and take out this archer guy first, because he's gonna do some serious damage unless I don't sort him out. Okay, I'm taking some serious damage at the moment. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Oh, bloody hell. Oh. I got cornered. <laughs> you have been defeated. Suffering is part of the immortal condition. The pain will never stop. Okay. I get a bit too panicky, I end up moving about too much waste and stamina. You're living your loan, you're living your loan. Should be right. There we go. Right. Human blood. Whoever left these marks did so deliberately. Let's get some blood quickly while we Let's get a bit more. Of the I mean, no, we don't really need any at the moment. Just need to do some damage. Try and kill these guys first because they kind of blocked me in last time. It's all about your blood, because your main attacks do a lot of damage, but you also need to focus on the other ones as well. It's just one of them little guys. Here, there's another one. So if I focus on getting this guy right now, I'll just... Okay, get out of this corner. Oh shit, so, okay, so the more spawn in, so, let's just get this stun him a bit. I don't like fire that much. Okay, I'm definitely going to get caught in a corner again. Come on, come on. 
Okay, I need to get some blood. Okay, I'm virtually on the verge. Oh god. Not again. Why does it keep doing this? I don't get it. Hello, this is Captain Frenzy. I just wanted to apologise on my behalf that when I kept trying to do that fight and also during a D Dorothy Crane speech, she, the whole file basically just didn't work whatsoever. I've been trying to get it back but I've just lost it. And also with the fight, it kept freezing at that part which you could see in the last clip. And I do want to apologise, it's but it's something that was out of my hands and I'll hopefully get it sorted by the next episode. But I just want to thank thank you for bearing with me and I'll get it sorted. Okay. Have a good night guys.